at work everywhere we are. Amen. Amen. Last week, we shared so much. We spoke a lot last week. And I believe that we, we, if all those who were here were blessed. We were recalled. It is better you were not here. Yes. I, I, I understand when you write. Mama's book, so good. I don't want to know what you're talking about. It was very tough. Yeah, it was very tough. So today, we, we, want, we want just to share the word of the Lord. But before I do so, let me pass through this one. And I, and I, and I believe this, is, this has been in my heart for, for almost the whole week. When Jesus, Jesus came to, 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 to the world, shared in South Africa, when Jesus came, he came so that we might have life and have it more abundantly and the bible says when, 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 when in those days when people were born again I remember in Acts chapter number 2 Peter stood up and, and began to preach and the people born, uh, who were born again in those days they would go to homes where churches were we should bring back the culture of, of home sales. Of home fellowships. Coming to church like this only on Sundays. It makes us to be Sunday times uh, Christians. We only fellowship and worship only together on Sundays. I'm not there. When you are born again, it, it is a must that the second step is for you to find a spiritual home. When you are born again, you sing your knees of the Lord, but you shall not be able to do my work. I would hear people saying, I, I just fellowship anywhere. Where they just mention the name of Jesus, no, I'm part of them. You should find a home. A place that you can call a home. And if you call that place a home. In every home. There are structures. There are customs. There are laws. Same applies in the church. There are things that we should do. And things that we must not do. We come to church to learn and to feed our souls and feed our spirits so that we can go out and go and feed others. If you are not being fed, how can you feed someone else? You cannot speak something that is not in you. The only thing you need to do from being born again, find a place of worship. Find a place to call a home. Find a place where you are going to be called. Find a place where you will serve. Because there is a blessing in serving. Don't only come to church and have fellowship and go home. But be part of everything other people are doing. Excuse me for saying. When you visit a church, you find them worshiping. And immediately the service ends. You leave. When we have it is a sign that you don't belong there. You are a visitor. Oh, you might belong there. But what about other things that are being done in that place? We should partake together. All of us partake together. Because that shows that you have a belonging. The mind of belonging. The spirit of belonging. 
family. And you have an understanding that your that place is your family. How many of you woke up this morning from wherever you are waking up from and you just left? You did not speak to anyone. You did not greet anyone. You did not make your you did not make your bed. You did not sweep. You did not do anything. You just left. That is what we do in church. A church, especially this one, we are still studying. We are, we, we are still planting. We are still making plans to put this one there, to put that one there. So that this place can look better. So that next time you come, you might say, This was not there. But today I can see something. Here. Some of you, when they left this place for holidays, there was no stage. But when you came, there was a stage. It is because we understand that as a family, we need to upgrade. We need to change. We need to make new changes. We need to make new changes. When the grass is grown, we need to cut it. Because we, this is the place you belong. And that is the place you call home. Make this place your home. Make this place your home. Other people will join. But because you are already here, you can claim that we were here when we started. This one began with us. You are the first generation. As the first generation, come and make your mark. Come and make your mark. And if you are watching life, make your mark wherever you are. And connect with us. Subscribe. Subscribe. Be a partner with us. Amen. 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 The Bible says there was a young man. By the name of John Mark. John Mark. John Mark. John Mark. Bible history says he was the 